Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. The Ukrainians claim a successful attack on the city of Azov, where they say they were able to destroy a Russian pipeline. And the pipeline is a um, petroleum oil pipeline, supposedly providing the Russian military with uh, oil. Um, just just as, as, a, as a suggestion, uh, and that's uh, valid for everyone, and um, I would say all the time. When someone comes and tells you, like let's say I come and tell you something, I say, you know what, uh, this is what happened. The first things you should ask in your head, or ask me is this, uh, is it true? And if it's true, how do you know it's true? Where's your evidence? always have these two first questions in your head when someone claims something. And how do you know it's true? So here, um, the Ukrainians claim, and I'm going to show you, I have two articles and two maps, that they, according to Ukraine form, let me show you, and uh, it's right here. It's from the 6th of April 2024. Pipe transporting petroleum products to tankers blown up in Russia, Ukraine's defense intel. So the first question is, is it true? Okay, how do you know it's true? What's the evidence? Because they can all come and claim whatever they want. So don't be naive, uh, no, be skeptical all the time. Now, obviously, the level of skepticism um, decreases or increases according to the um, trust that you built with the person reporting that. So let's say if uh, someone, you, couldn't, you didn't catch that person uh, lying, and that should have a 100% record of being truthful to you. So when that person tells you something, your guard should not be right here. You know, you don't, you don't see anything. Just look to you. Uh, is it true? Is it not true? Uh, yeah, you ask that. But you, the level of, as I said, uh, uh, skepticism should be lower than to a person who lied. You caught that person. Why do I say caught? Uh, a person can appear to be truthful because you didn't catch that person yet. So let's move on. Let's see what these guys have to say. And I'm going to show you the maps as well. The main intelligence directorate of Ukraine Defense Ministry reported that the pipeline Russian used to pump petroleum products into tankers for military purposes was blown up in Rostov region. They provide a video here. I'm not going to play that video. And that's an explosion in the night. Uh, I can uh, show you many explosions in the night and then tell you where that happened. It doesn't mean it happened where I tell you it happened. Okay, got that? All right, so if you see on the... Uh, oh, that's the explosion. How do, I, how do I know I don't know that's done by you and you film it? You created it like, you know, that uh, landing. You know that landing? The eagle has landed <laughs> and the wind is blowing. Okay, so let's move back. So uh, uh, remember, they say for military purposes, blown up in Rostov, in the city of Azov. I will show you that. Um, keep this in mind, military purposes. Uh, in the early hours, and I'm quoting, of Saturday, April 6, I think uh, Siddhartha Gautama, uh, the so-called Buddha, the first person who reached enlightenment, right, and got to samsara, stopped the um, reincarnation cycle, right, got to Satori. Uh, he, he was born in April 6, the historical uh, Siddhartha Gautama. April 6, I think it was 622 BCE, something like this, 6 of April. Anyway, just as a matter of fact, my old uh, memories, I think I learned that when I was almost 18. Well, anyway, in the, area of the in the area of the town of Azov, Rostov region, as a result of the explosion on a pipeline used to pump petroleum products from a local oil depot to tankers in the Azov seaport. The loading of tankers was suspended indefinitely. Indefinitely. Well, I'm going to show you where the Azov, uh, the city of Azov is. For what kind of uh, war purposes? Where is where is that petroleum going? I suspect it's going somewhere else, not to the Russians. But hey, again, that's my problem. I don't. I don't think that was um, made. Uh, the attack was done on a. Uh, I don't deny the attack. I deny the motive, the, the military thing. Or I'm skeptical, let's say. I'm not denying it. I'm skeptical. Here it is. So this, the Sea of Azov, here is um, the city of Azov. 
this is Mariupol where the Azov style plant and these guys uh, were pop pop pop. Here is Yeisk where the Ukrainians claimed they attacked yesterday an um, um, airfield which I just made a video where Institute for the Study of War <laughs> contradicts that and says there's no visual evidence. Go and watch that video. And here's Sevastopol. So let me show you on a different battle map right here with the Ukraine and where everything happens here. This is the Sea of Azov. This is the Crimean Peninsula. This is the Black Sea. So they say here is the city of Azov is right here where my strong hand is. So here the Ukrainians claim they blew up that oil pipeline giving the military, Russian military, you know, um, resources to go where exactly? You can say, well, from here, they can go here and then here they go to uh, uh, Zaporozhia region or they can go to Donetsk or they can go to uh, Kherson. You can claim, or to Sevast uh, Sevastopol, and they should go to Kersh Bridge. So I, Kersh Strait. So I think that this could also go down, down here to the Turkey, Dardanelle, and uh, now the Straits and go out into the, um, the Mediterranean Sea to give to the rest of the world. That's my point. My point is, I don't think it was for military purposes. I mean, I ha have doubts. I don't think I have doubts. And I will give you an example of why for me, BBC, when BBC did it for me. And I will tell you after we keep reading this article and finishing it. So let me show you the other article coming from Ukrainska Pravda this time against uh, Saturday 6th of April 2024. Oil pipeline blown up in Russia's Rostov Oblast video. As I said, I'm not going to play the video. It's an explosion in the middle of the night. I don't know if this is by Kiev or Lviv or uh, Zakarpatia. I have no idea where it is. But anyway, and I don't believe, I don't just, uh, okay, that's what you say. I'll take it. No. Defense Intel, I need more evidence. That's what I'm saying. Defense intelligence of Ukraine has re reported that another Russian military facility, an oil pipeline in the village of Azov, has been blown up. Okay, that's uh, is possible, 100%. Probable, 50%. On the night of 6th of April, a pipeline near the settlement of Azov in Rostov Oblast, transporting petroleum products from a local oil depot to tankers in the port area of Azov seaport was blown up. The loading of tankers with petroleum products has been suspended indefinitely. DUI <laughs> indicated that the pipeline was used by Russia for military purposes. And here's the thing, I'm not going to play it. So let me tell you when BBC did it for me. That's a uh, rhymes. BBC did it for me. Maybe it was, uh, gee, do you remember, uh, what was the name of that? Snapper, snap, napper, 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 napper. I can't remember that. Anyway, the one that uh, published Metallica's uh, album in 1990s and then Metallica sued them, I think. Napper? Napper? I can't remember the program. Uh, so anyway, I got uh, from someone a, uh, an, uh, an audio of the BBC broadcast with Hiroshima, the US bombing of Hiroshima. And as we know, Hiroshima was bombed by uh, you know, Enola Gay and <laughs> by the Americans on the 6th of August 1945. And they uh, destroyed it, they detonated the bomb on top above Hiroshima, so it creates a bigger damage, not on the ground, so it didn't hit the ground. It was, I don't know, like 600, uh, 600 uh, or something like this, 600, I can't remember, it was feet or 600 meters. I think 600 feet. So the 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 will create more destruction. So you didn't didn't detonate the lower. It detonated at the exact height where it creates the biggest damage. And that I think well, that was a war crime because it was a civilian city blown up. And uh, what's important is that BBC in that broadcast uh, said that reported audio that uh, the Americans detonated an atomic bomb over. Jap Japanese military installations. That's what that's how BBC reported, and that was not. I mean, if you just throw a grenade because you got one guy among uh, one thousand civilians, that's not uh, you know it eliminate the terrorists. Yeah, they would blow up uh, fifty other around, right, or whenever. You don't do this.
some do right now in a certain location on this planet. Zip it, Emil. All right, you know exactly what I'm talking about. You know, they don't care. They don't care. They say, well, that's a terrorist over there. Boom, bam, that's a terrorist over there. Bam, boom, bam. And in self defense, <clears throat> um, one entity can do whatever it wants. Who's going to say anything? You got the Americans. Anyway, so here it is. The oil uh, um, pipeline was blown up, according to the Ukrainians. As I said, it's possible, very 50-50, uh, I give it, it's probable, possible 100%. And uh, this is not, I think, just to a, a military infrastructure or installation or pipeline. Maybe it is. Maybe it is. Remember, this is not a war on uh, really the, I was about to say German military, Russian military. The orders come from far, far away, you know. Remember when Jesus Christ was in front of uh, Pontus Pilatus and uh, he said, your power comes from somewhere else, comes from Rome. That's what you have no power and so on. So the same uh, here, uh, Ukrainian power comes from far, far and the orders come from far, far away to damage the Russian actually uh, providing the world with uh, energy, oil, gas, therefore no money, therefore the economy drops, therefore uh, the Russian population will go and <coughs> strangle Putin. That's the whole thing. And obviously eliminating competition on the world market uh, like that. Because that's how uh, capitalism is. When I win, and democracy, when I win, but that's a human, human uh, garbage. When I win, I like it, I like the rules. When I lose, I don't like the rules and I start changing the rules while I go, applying only to that particular situation. You can't apply the same rules if that, those will hurt me. But that implies that you are an imbecile, you're a baboon, and you have power. All right. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth, and be just.